Hey everybody, welcome to the Lunar Lowdown with me, Sally Nerney. This is the lowdown for the new moon of February 4th, where we have the sun and the moon together in the late degrees of Capricorn. When I dropped in to find out what the star beings wanted shared for this new moon, no joke, I saw Puxatani Phil. For those of you who don't know, Puxatani Phil is the groundhog for Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is the secular expression of what indigenous peoples have known for millennia, the turning of the wheel of the year. We find ourselves in early February where the light is growing long enough that the sap is once again beginning to flow in the trees. The Christians called this candle moss and the Celtic tradition calls it Imolk. However you want to slice it, the light is growing more full. The light is longer. The light is coming down to earth at a different angle, enough that the sap in the plants and the trees and the blood in our veins is beginning to flow. We're certainly not to spring yet, yet our plans begin to quicken and with Capricorn's help in this new moon, we can see the steps that will take us to where we want to go. I love the permission of a new moon to bundle up, to be still, be quiet, to go inside. I love the permission to let go of external accomplishments, grandeur, and busy. <laughs> Yet we're in Capricorn, who is diligent, ambitious, quietly and steadily, faithfully, persistently, implementing the repetitive tasks and the small steps that add up. Here in this new moon, we can reclaim a faith in the incremental process of our small steps and repetitive accomplishments. In this new moon of Capricorn, we can reweave faith with the great energetic entities of spirit that are untouched by humanity's hills and troughs. Deep at the center of this new moon, we can feel the ancestors who dreamed us. And we can be both humbled and inspired by just how long things do take to happen, to change, to become real. Again and again, the star beings emphasize that we are not alone that we are deeply loved and we're actually counted upon to keep showing up for the small repetitive tasks of welcoming the new day, saying farewell to the setting sun, goodbye sun, to noticing the dark sky resplendent with stars during new moon time. As human beings, we are counted on for our creativity and our willingness to keep going in the smallest and simplest of ways. This new moon be strengthened by the sum of all the tasks that are completed behind you. Be heartened as you gaze into all the tasks before you. All right, here I go. And enter into them with a warming heart a quiet heart, a faithful heart. Aho. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.